Hey YouTube, it's Jordan. Um, I know what you're thinking. Must be Christmas in February. You know, two two videos in like the same week, but no, you guys are just lucky. Um, so I guess I'd be about seven and a half months on testosterone now. Um, not that there's too many changes to report from seven months. Um, and uh, this is actually gonna be my about or not my about me. Um, my how I knew I was trans video is what this is gonna be. So, um, I used to run around without a shirt on from a very young age, I would say like, you know, three to five, um, never really had a shirt on ever, nobody told me I had to put one on until I was like five, um, I always played with, uh, masculine toys, you know, Bionicles, Hot Wheels, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, you know, all that stuff, um, never with, uh, Barbies or... <laughs> Well, I, I did have an easy bake oven, but I love that thing, and that's that's fine. That's fine. Um, I uh, always wore boyish clothing, you know, when it came to, um, you know, when I finally got to start going school clothes shopping. Um, always, always masculine uh, clothes since you know third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade. Um, I always uh, played with boys too back in elementary school when it wasn't a big deal. You know, played basketball, tetherball, handball. Um, we used to army crawl through the sand, uh, all my close friends were boys, um, you know, Brett, John, Casimir, um, and I remember my, uh, my first sleepover, I told my parents it was with this neighborhood girl, um, but in actuality, I was really close with her older brother, and, uh, he went and snuck into her room at, like, midnight and woke me up, um, so we could play Star Wars, which was the actual reason I wanted to sleep over there, um, so... I, uh, my, my first memory of checking out a girl was in fifth grade, which is, you know, kind of pervy, but, but you gotta start young, um, and, uh, it was in seventh grade where I, I actually, like, really battled with being attracted, um, you know, to a particular female. I had a pretty bad, pretty bad crush, and, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna call that girl Susie, because I've never actually met anybody named Susie. So if there's a Susie watching this, you should definitely comment um, so I can say I know a Susie. But we're going to call her Susie. And um, at the uh, at the bottom of my 7th grade journal on one page, it'd be like, oh, you know, um, I'm not a lesbian. I just really want to be Susie's very best friend. And then on the next page, it would say, yeah, well, I also kind of want to kiss Susie. And, there, and there's that, you know. Um, so... Um, I, in the summer between 7th and 8th grade, I decided to come out to my Aunt Sharon, who was a lesbian, you know, thought she of all people would be alright with it, and, uh, of, of course she was, you know, my family got used to it, it was, it was whatever, um, uh, but, you know, I actually never really liked being called a lesbian, um, because to me, a lesbian was a female who was attracted to females, and that, to me, never really fit perfectly, um, so, and I, I then kind of went through a phase where I really liked, or was like preoccupied with flattening my chest. I used to, you know, not wear a bra and then wear a collared shirt and like button it like really, really low. Um, that way like my chest was exposed, um, but like in a, in a masculine way. Um, and then, you know, if I had to wear a bra, I'd wear a sports bra because it made my chest look flatter. Um, I also did this thing, like, I had long hair, you guys, like, I had hair, like, down to my butt, like, I had long hair, and what I used to do is I'd put it up in a ponytail, and then put the, the tip of the ponytail, like, here, so it would look like bangs, and then put a hat over it, um, loved doing that, just go in, like, especially if I was somewhere where I didn't know anybody, or, you know, out in a public place, I'd do that, I looked like Aaron Carter, <laughs> um, so, uh, I, I would, used to do that, too. Um, I used to use Ace Bandage then, you know, kind of graduated to that, and, you know, we all have to start somewhere, but Ace Bandages are super uncomfortable and not that effectual, you know, and I had to use the bathroom, like, every period to go readjust it, because it's just super like, painful, you know, and lumpy and just not great. <laughs> um, but uh, then I decided to kind of go through a social experiment, um, and I asked all my close friends to actually call me Nathan and to use male pronouns because I wanted to see how I liked it. And um, one memory that I have that's really powerful that is still with me today, and it's kind of one of those random acts of kindness that I bet certain people don't realize the impact of when, you know, they, they give it. But um, I was walking down the halls 
And um, my friend's dad, who worked at the school, I had never obviously talked to him, but obviously my friend had. Um, I was walking down, and he's like, hey, Nathan, how are you? And, you know, I was like, oh, I'm good, how are you, and everything. But it was really, really heartwarming to have that sort of recognition and validation from an adult and from someone I had never, like, I mean, I knew him, but I, I didn't tell him, you know what I mean? It was just, it was really, really, really nice. And um, I then started dating um, a girl named Carolyn, who I actually, she was one of the very first people I ever introduced myself as male to, um, obviously, you know, especially preteen everything, and I didn't have, I don't think, a binder yet. Um, you know, I, I came out as trans to her, but uh, I dated her, and then none of her friends knew I was trans, so I had my experience with that, you know what I mean? And I, I wouldn't even say then I identify, I, I, well, I began to identify as transgendered within that relationship, you know what I mean? I kind of got a little bit more educated as to what it meant and all that. Um, so from there, it was really, really gradual, in all honesty. Um, the Nathan thing kind of fell away, um, but I recognized how much it hurt my feelings when people didn't call me Nathan or used he. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't know if I was going to like it or not or whatever, but it turned out that I really did like it. You know, it felt very validating, and, you know, it hurt my feelings, and I noticed when people said she. Um, so it was very gradual from then, and, you know, just getting a binder, um, you know, wanting to start testosterone, all that. Um, I ended up coming out publicly to my school through the school newspaper and through Facebook. Um, but, you know, it, it was pretty gradual. I just, I, I, I kind of had an inkling, so I started off with that Nathan thing, and I ran with it and discovered, you know, it felt it felt right, and it made me feel good about myself, and, um, you know, I guess that is the story of how I became trans, so, thanks for watching, and, uh, I hope all of you guys have a good day, uh, yeah.